All right, let's start at the beginning. So it looks like that you've been working really hard, Aries. I know that you, uh, over the last year, year and a half, it feels like you've been uh, really releasing some things, working on some personal agendas, trying to uh, change behaviors that necessarily weren't positive or helpful for you. Um, it does look like uh, releasing friendships, uh, possibly that weren't conducive and friendly to you, but it does look like um, April is a month that you get to just float and let somebody else drive the bus or the boat, as it were. Um, now it's the time to collect your thoughts, think about what your next step is, but maybe not really act on it. You get a little bit of a reprieve, Aries, because you have been working so hard. So this does feel like it's a, a little bit more um, gentler month for you. Um, so let's see what crosses you as your high priestess. This is, this is really getting in touch with your magic. Um, this is getting in touch with uh, the spirit of your heart, trying to find your balance. But it does look like you have found your balance or it wouldn't be crossing you here. So it's something you haven't already incorporated into your world. And it does look like these seeds are lighting up for me. So it does look like you're planting new seeds of uh, projects, uh, possibilities, possibly travel. I'm feeling a little bit of travel in here. So over the summertime, if you are in the Western Hemisphere, uh, this feels like you will be having um, a little bit more social interaction than you have over the last maybe six months. It does feel like you're finding your balance, you're connecting with people um, on that heart to heart level and really uh, focusing in on what makes you happy. So finding your smile and it does look like you're doing it from the inside out instead of the outside in. Um, so this is kind of a new place for you is really finding your own smile instead of um, others maybe controlling that for you. But it does look like you took your power back and you're finding where it works in your life for you. This does not necessarily mean going to church. For many of you, it may be wandering back into church. Um, but this does feel like just uh, incorporating spirit or who you are as a, a spirit on earth and finding your magic, however that looks to you sweet Aries. Okay, the next one is the two. Twos are always about balance. Uh, the blindfold is lighting up for me here. It does feel like you're a bit protective over your heart, which doesn't surprise me since you have the upside down lovers. So you may be uh, protecting your heart or overly protecting your heart a little bit, working through some of issues from past relationships or current relationship that isn't working for you and really releasing. But it does look like you're kind of holding these swords as a super protective force um, so you won't get hurt. Um, but it does look like the blindfold is kind of making you go into yourself a little bit more. Cast off that blindfold and take a look at what's really going on, whether you're pursuing a new relationship, trying to fix the old one, releasing a relationship. Truly look at it as it is and not as you choose it to be. Uh, that is the way that you can resolve things is by really looking at things honestly, your part in the situation as well as others. Uh, of course, we can only change our ourselves, but it does look like a lot of these changes that you've made over the last year, year and a half, are maybe not in line with your love space that you have held either through time or currently, but it does feel like that is shifting too. It does feel like you are empowering yourself a little bit more, maybe not relying on your partner so much, and um, that may be making some waves in a current relationship that you have because things are changing for you. So the way that it has normally been done is not no longer going to be applicable, no longer going to work for you because you are a different person. So um, continue to do that work, float a little bit, see if you can get some of these answers just by being still um, instead of rushing. Um, so this kind of dictates to, to hang in there, take a look at how things really are, um, and just sit with it before making any big decisions. But it does look like it's laying heavy on your mind. These are very 
Uh, these are three mind cards. The swords are kind of the thinking cards, the academic cards, and sometimes getting too much in our head card. So see if you can turn off that running monologue in your head so you can make some decisions coming up or moving forward. The emperor here is in the past position. This does look like there was a challenge to you that you had to take the high road. Um, it does feel like it may be a family dynamic that hasn't been working very well. So some changes have been made and additional changes need to be made. Uh, but it does look like you are standing in um, a, a place of integrity and taking the high road so it may be a habitual thing that the family has done and that's never set well with you so it does look like you're speaking your truth with love and kindness but really staying in your power the emperor is all he's like the highest of integrity so if there's something hinky going on you know it's hinky going on um walk past it um, don't engage in it if it's something that you can release. And if it is something that you need to speak your truth about, please do that. Um, but it does look like something in the past uh, that you have actually already experience. So it may, may be more of the same. And you know, when we change our family dynamics, it takes a little while for everyone to get on, on the same um, page about how the changes are. And it, it does feel like it might be di distributing, um, not necessarily chores, but uh, things that one person has always done in the family. Maybe they are not feeling well. Um, and other people have to pick up the slack kind of thing. So it does look like a new dynamic and a new shift within the family. Um, and it's time to step up and be in integrity. It does look like um, some of these challenges for you are things you have never dealt with before and so never really thought about. So it's time to really um, take a step up in your integrity, which you have. So continue to do that and lighten the load for others um, that have lightened those loads for you in the past. Uh, the next card in the present time is the nine. This is the nine of swords. And it does look like something's laying heavy on your heart. It may have to do with the shift that is happening in the family. There may be someone ill. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Some illness or, or uh, someone in a position of authority that um, needs a little help and maybe not has needed that help uh, prior. So it does feel like you will have to step in and help. And it's it's kind of bringing up some fear for you. Um, how are you going to do this? This person has always done that. Um, so it is your turn to learn it and to uh, master it and help out others. I know that you, Aries, you guys have a huge heart. Just you'll give your shirt off, shirt off your back to someone who needs it. But it does feel like someone who has kind of always turned away. That help truly does need it, whether they ask for it or not. It's time to step up and it is laying heavy on your head. So step out of that fear and just put some motion behind it. And um, it does feel like it will lighten a little bit up for you and for others. Um, the next card is the Queen of Cups. And the Queens are like the exalted ones. Um, this is a could be a water sign. Cups stand for emotions and water signs. So that could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, this does feel like it's a kind person, a visionary, could even be a psychic or a creative person. This can also stand for a creative endeavor or emerging with someone else who is creative. Um, but it does Spirit is kind of telling me you're you're finding a kind, soft place uh, within your communication and a new place that you maybe haven't had before. Um, you know, fire signs, you guys have that wonderful spark, but sometimes it sparks unnecessarily or maybe boisterously. And it does look like you're learning um, nuances of communication and to be more gentle with your communication that, that, you know, um, you get more bees with honey kind of thing. Um, it, it's feeling like you are, um, making your approach a little bit more gentler and a little kinder. Um, but it does feel like there are some creative uh, endeavors 
in the future for you, Aries. This could be a project coming up that you've wanted to do. Um, it could be filling in the pieces of someone that has a creative essence that you don't have and merging with them and doing a project together. So this does look like a collaboration of some sort with a kind creative soul. So, okay, moving on, the Ace of Wands here, you know, and the Ace of Wands, this is fire, this is action, this is things coming right out of the blue, kind of out of the sky. Um, and our, our wands are kind of um, the hand of God things. This may be something that you didn't know that you needed that is presented to you. It does feel like a gift of some kind. It can be that creative gift here, uh, filling in that that one missing piece that you need for your project, but it does look like um, you're on the right path and that something out of the blue <clears throat> will propel you into a more creative place. Um, it also feels like kudos. So for those of you um, either working or school oriented, it feels like you will get some of that validation that you needed and, and an offering of something that you've always wanted to do. So that is the Ace of Wands, and it's a great place to be in the base position here um, to work on the rest of this stuff. Um, this is the Ten. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This uh, And Pentacles are really uh, the earthly things. This can be money. This can be physical things. Uh, but it does look like things with your money is coming into focus a little bit. You will have to put a little bit of effort into it to make these changes. So um, if it's time to redo your resume, you want that job. Uh, there's a job opening for something you've always wanted to do. Um, maybe there's a school that finally has, you know, the financial opportunity for you but it does look like things will come together a little bit <clears throat> clearer in the month of April for your money or at least how to uh, facilitate um, either making more money investing uh, finding a way to make the money you have now work a little better uh, it does it is tied into the family as well <clears throat> so you may be actually expending a little bit more um money and effort towards the family because of this imbalance that's happening but it does it is a 10 so it does look like things are becoming clearer to you and how this will work but it does look like um, that something with money and physical things is coming up for you that you will get some clarity about so if you've been unemployed for a while if you've been a little scared about money it does look like some opportunities will be coming to you but it does require some effort on your part here for that to happen. The page of wands is right here. This can be children. Um, pages also are messages and wands are actions. So this uh, can be an important message concerning your situation current situation, sorry, or work. It is right across, uh, right on top of this. So you may be getting a message. You may have put out some feelers on either new jobs or how, um, acquiring something that you will get messages on. And for those of you that have children in your life, this feels like it is a fire sign, which is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So um, it does feel like someone wants your attention a little bit and needs some positive feedback from you. This feels like it is a child that is not just a younger adult, um, but it does feel like some motion and some attention and some energy uh, needs to be refocused on this person. Um, as I said, uh, wands are about about motion. It's about energy, about doing things. So this could be an important message about your current situation or work or even a social situation. So do you have some invitations you need to send out? That could be that as well. Uh, the culmination card here, the top of the, the line here is the lovers. This is upside down. So you may be having some difficulty with a love relationship. Um, it also can stand for the love of yourself. So, um, but this definitely is a love relationship, most likely either sexual in nature or intimate in nature. Uh, it does feel like there has been a little bit of communication problems, that there's a little static, and it does feel 
feel like um, you may have to release some expectations. Um, it does look like you are working through some traumatic or angry things. Um, the lovers upside down and right next to it is the five, which is also fives are always about um, some kind of challenge. And this looks like a little bit scry crying over spilled milk. It, it is also a cup. You have a cup on this side, a cup on that side. So it does feel like it is a, a lover or intimate and that you've been very disappointed. Uh, it does feel like you expected it to be some uh, this way and it is not this way. It is this way. So again, Look at things how it truly is. We can only resolve from a, a place of awareness and acceptance. So it does look like maybe you've been hanging on to something that wasn't really based in reality and that it does feel like you've got a huge dose of reality that very, very much disappointed you and that you're debating either to walk away or how to change this, how to heal it or how to change it or walk away. So, of course, that is up to you, Aries, um, but it doesn't look like this relationship has been feeding your soul for quite a while. It does feel like you are gifting here and maybe not getting uh, the equal reciprocation. Uh, the King of Cups is on one side here, so this could be the person. It does not mean it is a male. Um, I don't really like to assign gender to the cards, but the Cups... It are water signs, primarily Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, usually the, the kings are someone over 30, if this does stand for a person. And, you know, King of Cups, he's very intuitive. So trust your intuition. Um, it's it's really about uh, your kindness. So if, if you're not getting the kindness, the intimacy, and it feels like your trust has been wavering a bit with this relationship. So it does feel like something is hinky, that something's being presented to you that isn't true. So please trust your intuition. If, um, if your spirit is screaming, no, this is jive, then please believe it, no. This is jive. Um, so it may be time to reevaluate um, what your next step is with this. And um, I know it feels very difficult. I think this is part of the losing sleep part here. But it does feel like there's, you know, one step forward and about three to four steps backward. So um, it does feel like you really need to look at things um, how they truly are and whether this relationship is feeding your soul and will continue to feed your soul. So that is your reading for the month of April, Sweet Aries. Um, I'm going to throw a couple of these cards. This one kind of came right out. Butterfly Maiden Transformation. These are wonderful goddess guidance cards uh, that my dear friends, the mystic sisters in Wisconsin, turned me on to. Um, and it's transformation. It's butterfly time, Aries. It's time to come out of your cocoon. And it does feel like some of these past relationships that you're hanging on to are kind of clipping your wings. So it may be time to release them or to just fly. Whether they can catch up with you or not, that is their choice. So you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. So that is the Butterfly Maiden. She is on your side this month. And this one feels groovy to me. And this one is Abundasya for prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. So open that heart a little bit. Trust a little bit on your own journey. Give your own self lots of kudos and lots of love. Sweet Aries.